So recently a lot of my friends actually come to me and ask how I cleared up my acne and how they should get some advice in clearing up acne. The very first question that comes out of my mouth is what does your diet look like? The second question might be how much hours of sleep do you get in a daily basis and also what time do you go to bed? The third thing is something related to stress level. Fourth thing, inflammatory reaction inside your body. And the very, very last question that I may or may not even ask you is regarding the skincare routine. It's easier for you to find or wanting to find a miracle, wanting to find an answer from a certain skincare product. If you really think about the causes of acne, it's hormonal, it's inflammatory, it's something inside that is malfunctioning and your skin is just being an indicator to tell you that something's really wrong inside your body. I'm not saying the acne treatments or acne medications that you might be relying on are totally useless. They are scientifically proven to be effective in killing the P acne, which is the acne causing bacteria. And if you have seen results with these products, that's amazing. However, I know a lot of you guys who are relying on these acne treatments and topical acne medication, they might still get fresh new acne and they can't really get into the root causes of what's really causing the acne, which is inside your body. So so if you've been using numerous different skincare products, numerous different acne treatments and you're not seeing results, maybe your skin is just telling you that all it needs is probably tender loving care from you rather than attacking your skin with fully forced military armed with guns and bullets on the side. It just needs more love and respect. So today I'm going to provide you with a step-by-step -step guide on how to start over your skincare routine or how to minimize your skincare routine. It's something that helped me out tremendously. I know some of you guys saw results with it so there's really no harm in trying. So the very first phase is something called skincare fasting. It's basically cutting back everything to a very basic skincare survival mode. We want to really rebuild the skin barrier during this fasting period or survival period. If you have been doing harsh cleansing, if you've been relying on strong actives or acne treatments, there's high chance that your skin barrier is damaged or even compromised and you really got to believe that your skin has an ability to regulate and to heal by itself. So we're really cutting back to a minimal skincare routine to push our skin to do its job that it's supposed to do. Another goal that you want to achieve is probably cutting down the obsession towards skincare products. I know it sounds very contradictory to a lot of things, but skincare is not an end-of-be-all. It's not going to be a cure. Just don't expect too much from your skincare products. Our main focus should be more on hydration and recovery during this period. And also a little bit of antioxidants wouldn't harm as well. Even though I named it as a skincare fasting, you don't really need to cut out everything out of your routine. I think your skin might freak out even more. If, and we're really resetting to a clean slate. During this period, I'm going to kindly ask you to drop acne treatments, strong actives, acne medication, sheet masking or any kind of masking, including sleeping mask or clay mask, spot treatment or any kind of drying out your skin action, harsh cleansers, which are too alkaline, which are too foaming, exfoliating, or any kind of serums you might want to pause. Your AM routine should look something like this. So a lot of you guys know by now that I have been skipping morning cleansing. I've tried this out for six months now and many of you guys have applied it and have been seeing good results. It really helps keeping your skin barrier intact. And then I follow up by using a basic hydrating moisturizer that's really lightweight. It would be nice if a moisturizer would come with antioxidant or some sort of skin recovering or soothing agent. However, you don't really need to buy a new moisturizer to do this. SPF is non-negotiable, so apply sunscreen or you can even apply a moisturizer that has SPF in it. Evening routine is pretty simple as well. I would do double cleansing because I wear sunscreen or makeup on a daily basis and I would follow up with the moisturizer that I used in the morning but this time I will add a few drops of rosehip oil or either hemp seed oil to prevent the transepidermal water loss during sleep. So you might want to stick to this phase for about ideally one month or even more if your skin loves it. So your skin cells will turn over every 28 days. So we want to align with that. While you are doing this skincare fasting, I just want you guys to make the most out of it and make this into a very transformative phase in your lifestyle as well, including diet, sleeping pattern, and stress level, if you can manage that. Sleeping is really important in recovering your skin and it will help you immensely if you get really full rest. Try to 
stop relying on full coverage foundation. Concealer here and there would be enough. After doing this skincare fasting, you might have realized that your skin is in a much healthier, happier, and much more balanced state. Now it's totally capable of doing what it was supposed to do that we kind of suppressed not to do, which is self-regulating and self-healing. I oftentimes get comments from you guys saying that you guys truly switch to a hydrating and nourishing skincare routine, walking away from acne medications, acne treatments, and you realized that your skin was just dehydrated and that's why it was just reacting weird and your skin is so much clearer and healthier now, your skin will listen to you when you really respect your skin. Phase number two, adding a supplement. So skincare is a supplement at the end of the day to target whatever your skin needs. After the fasting period, you might have realized what your true real skin type is or what your skin condition is or what your skin really needs. If you are currently happy with the hydration routine, keep on doing that. You really don't need to be greedy. If you are going to add one more product into your skincare regime, I want you guys to approach it really strategically. Introduce one product at a time into your routine and slowly increase and build up the frequency and the potency of the active ingredient. If you feel like your skin is dehydrated, you can add something with hyaluronic acid or glycerin, squalene, or any kind of oil that can compensate that. If you feel like your skin is just really congested or dull, occasional AHA exfoliation will help tremendously. Niacinamide can be a superhero for a lot of troubled skin type, especially for those guys who have oily, acne-prone skin. It is a sebum-regulating ingredient, but it doesn't do that by just simply suppressing it. It stimulates the production of ceramides and collagen inside, so your skin can naturally moisturize itself. And once your skin is naturally moisturized, it doesn't have a need to compensate by producing more sebum to lubricate your skin. So your skin is more imbalanced and also it is an anti-inflammatory ingredient so it's great for acne prone skin so any kinds of antioxidants will help to strengthen your skin barrier so vitamin c and vitamin e is probably the most talked about antioxidants however when you are approaching vitamin c i'm not really sure l-ascorbic acid or ascorbic acid which is the pure form of vitamin c is going to be the right fit for acne prone skin because it can sometimes sensitize your skin or it can sometimes aggravate your skin so if you're wanting to incorporate vitamin C, I highly recommend you guys to go for vitamin C derivatives such as magnesium ascorbyl phosphate, um, sodium ascorbyl phosphate, and there are so many other out there. Phase number three commit. It really, really needs your patients to work synergistically with your own skincare routine. So if you found the products that you love and you want to commit, have a good relationship with it. Don't cheat on it by moving around too much and don't expect too much in such a short period of time because things take time. I'm pretty sure you will get the most out of it once you show commitment. If you guys decide to commit to do this challenge, I really, really want to see your progress, your skincare journey. So tag me on Instagram at aboutleahyu or tag me on Twitter at aboutleahyu and hashtag skincare diet challenge. I will be consistently checking that hashtag and I'll be commenting on your post and really encourage and support you guys on your journey. I think we're constantly in a temptation to buy more products and I'm not a good influence in that category too. But to be honest, skincare at the end of the day is a celebration of self-love and self-care anyway. It should be something that you enjoy. If Trump says he's going to make America great again, I'm going to make skincare enjoyable again. I hope. So good luck and I really, really, really hope it works. I really hope you guys see results with it and let me know. Bye.